Hi, in this video I will be giving my Ignite firing system a field test with multiple clip-on igniters. The Ignite website says that you can use a maximum of two in parallel, so I'm going to start these tests with a couple of different configurations of these. Okay, so just cutting in here for a moment to show you how I'm wiring all of this up. And if you want to jump straight to the results of the field tests, by all means use the video chapters on the YouTube video. So here we have a um, Ignite igniter, which we want to turn from one clip on the end to two so that we can fire two fireworks simultaneously, whether they're paired up together on your firing area or in two completely different places. But things to consider with the Ignite system. Firstly, the ends of um, ordinary talons. And the reason I'm using uh, my stash of talons for this, by the way, is because um, I've already used up nearly all of my official Ignite igniter. So I'm taking these out of my uh, very large pile of igniters. These are all 0.5 meter talons, by the way. So that's the, that's the, the length of these. They're not particularly long in and of themselves. Um, so you can't just put the bare wires from this straight into here. We need a plug on the actual firing system itself. But of course, if you've got one clip on igniter per plug, you can only have one igniter per cue. So we need to fix that with a bit of wiring. So what we're gonna do is cut off the end of uh, an existing igniter and then wire up um, two igniters to that wire. So this is actually a very good use for uh, used official igniters so once you've used them don't throw them away away keep them because we can reuse the plug and reuse most of the wire okay so for the purposes of this demo i've actually cut a significant amount of the wire off these igniters so that i don't end up with the desk full of wires going everywhere so there's two ways we can connect these up they're both very easy you'll find whichever one suits you the best. So the first one requires no special tools or connectors. It's called strip and twist. So as the name suggests, we are going to strip the ends uh, off the igniter wires uh, and also the um, ignite connector and then simply twist them together. So let me do that now. <laughs> Okay, so we stripped the ends off all of our leads and now we need to twist them together. An important point with uh, clip-on igniters is they must be twisted together in parallel and not in series. This means that rather than daisy chain these together in a line and then come back to the output from the firing system, each igniter has to have its own independent connection to the output so that when the circuit breaks on each of these when it ignites your fuse the only circuit it's breaking is its own uh, its own coil and it won't affect the others that are also wired up to that output so let's do that now <laughs> Okay, so here we have then our plug and that goes and splits to two of our igniters and they are both wired into um, the same connection there. So that will then simply plug in like so. And there we have uh, two igniters. Now in this particular test, this is nearly two meters long, this wire, and these are 0.5 meters long to, to give the normal distance. As I said, uh, the short distances here are simply just to demonstrate uh, how this technique works. Now, personally, I find stripping and twisting fine for extending single igniter cables, but I find it incredibly fiddly uh, for doing more than one igniter onto each terminal as you probably saw in the video even though that was speeded up by a factor of 500 are still faffing about for ages and it gets worse the more igniters that you try to add on so personally i prefer to use a ready-made connector and for the purposes of this demonstration i'm using uh, a type of connector called vago it's spelled w-a-g-o it's a german company that makes these so what we have here is a, a connector which basically has got three holes three terminals on it which are all connected together inside so what we would do is wire up pretty much exactly as we did with the strip and twist but we're just popping these straight into these terminal blocks instead so remembering that we need to do these uh, in parallel so uh, we pop in the first one 
uh, like so. But then we need to connect another connector onto the other um, terminal like so. And then we will wire up um, our igniters, but uh, don't wire up both, both of these to that. We need to split it so that it's a parallel connection. So that will go into there. And then the final igniter in there. There we go. I mean, that was much easier. I didn't even need to speed that bit up really, did I? So again, pop that into any of your um, Ignite outputs and there you have your two igniters. Okay, so let's pop out uh, now to the garden and see how these two perform. And again, as I said before, this section is actually two meters long and this section is half a meter long. So we've got a total of two and a half meters. Okay, so you just saw that two clip-on igniters on the end of a standard two meter ignite igniter work fine. So let's have a look at now extending those out a little bit further. Next up, we're firing a pair of igniters. However, let's imagine our fireworks are in completely different parts of the firing side and we want to fire them together. For example, a couple of roaming candles, one on either side of your display area. So what I'm doing in the next field test is we're connecting our igniters to a piece of bell wire to extend their length. We're doing that in both cases here. And then we are wiring in uh, these to the output from one of our terminals. So it's essentially the same test as the previous one. However, we are introducing an extra five meters of extended wire to see if they still work. So let me get that connected up now to show you how that will go. Okay, so there we have it. Our output splits into the two extended wires and that's just a straight connection then to each of the igniter clips. Um, this isn't a particularly elegant way of just doing a straightforward connection. There are other connectors you can do to do that or strip and twist might be easier in this case, but uh, I like to be nice and neat. So let's see how these fare. Remember again, this section will be two meters. These will be five meters each and then this will be half a meter. Okay, so as you've just seen, also no problems at all firing two igniters where each of those is extended out by five meters. So that would give you a 10 meter width if you wanted to fire cakes or candles on either side of your display area. But can we push this unit even further? Let's try three igniters. Okay, so final couple of tests where we're going to fire three and then four igniters from one queue and I've just noticed on my phone screen that you can see quite a lot of finger marks on this. It's very much a fingerprint magnet, this rubberized coating on here. So very sorry if my system is now starting to look like it has been out in the field for a while, which of course it has been. So connecting many igniters is a really good uh, example of where this type of connector comes into its own really, because stripping and twisting this, these amount of leads would be quite difficult. So this is a five terminal Vargo block. So one terminal will be used up by the output from the firing system and then we can wire up to four igniters. So let me just connect these three up now to show you how that's going to work. <laughs> Okay, that's beginning to look uh, a little bit more messy purely because the leads are very short here. Um, but as you can see, we've got one output now from the Ignite system going to three igniters. Uh, so let's see how these do. And I'm dispensing with the five meter bell wire extension now because 
I'm just looking at number of igniters that we can fire. However, this part here coming from the ignite system in this test is still two meters long and these are 0.5 meters. So we're still looking at two and a half meter total igniter length. So as you saw there, three igniters, also no problem at all. So why stop there? Let's try four. Okay, and extending this now to four igniters. So it is literally just a case of the same setup again, but popping in one more igniter, like so. Okay, so four is no problem at all either. That's a pretty useful number of igniters to fire all on the same queue. And remember, these are clip-on igniters wired in parallel. If you're using e-match igniters, the Ignite website says you can actually go up to 15. So um, I'm quite impressed so far with the firing capabilities of this system. Now, the particular connectors I'm using only have five terminals on. So one of those is the input and there's four outputs. Uh, but I will be, back, will be back in another video and see if we can do even more than four. Final couple of points just to wrap this video up. The Vargo connectors that I've been using here, I purchased a set of these from Amazon. They come in blocks with two, three, and five connections on. The five ones are particularly good for, for using quite a number of igniters. So reminder here that you, one of these terminals will be used up by the output of your firing system. So you, effectively you can connect four in parallel using these. If you are just looking to extend igniters, which I will cover in a different video, uh, these two terminal ones I find are a bit clunky. So you may be better off um, using something like this, which is actually a spring-loaded connector. So you literally just press the end of these down, put your wire in, uh, and then you can just extend your wiring in that way. So they are the um, connectors that I've been using here. As for the bell wire that I used earlier, this is actually um, Pitax bell wire. You can buy extension wire from most firing system sellers and igniter sellers. It's sometimes called shooting wire. It's normally orange. For this video and, and another one that I'm doing, I'm using so much of this stuff that I decided to source it locally because it was a little bit cheaper. So this is from Tool Station and it's Pitax Bell Wire Twin Strand 100 meter drums. You can also buy a similar product at Screwfix if you want to pick it up from your local Screwfix depot. Well, that's all from me. I hope you have found this video useful. If you have, please feel free to give me a like or a subscribe on YouTube as it does help the channel out. And keep tuned for my next video where I will be giving the Ignite system another field test.